Good morning, you guys. It is Saturday. I know you guys can't really see me, but I have my baby girl next to me and she's asleep. So, I'm getting ready to get up and start my day. And today consists of everything business. So, let's get started. Most before I dive into my business stuff, I do need to do some things around the house. Um, baby girl needs to eat, so right now in the morning when she like first wakes up, she only wants milk, and then maybe like an hour or so after that, she wants um, some like oatmeal or something. If you can see behind me, I still have the tree up, so we gotta take that down today, and so some decorations. Hey, good morning. Good morning, people. <laughs> yeah, so that's what we're getting ready to clean up. Take the decorations down. Start the day. One eternity later. And yeah, so still cleaning. Um, I want to just check in with you guys. My computer is dead right now, so I'm letting it charge because I was in the middle of um trying to edit a video, but yeah. So I'm gonna finish. Oh, excuse me. I'm gonna finish cleaning up and then my room, and then I gotta make my way into my office, and then that's where I will land to start my business stuff. So we'll do an unbox. Okay, so now that I am pretty much done cleaning for the most part, I still have to like wash clothes and stuff, but I'm gonna go ahead and start my day while it's early, scripting my manifestations. And I just write as if whatever it is I'm trying to obtain, I write in the feeling of already have been received it. So you want to put yourself in the vibrations of being thankful, feeling happy, excited, whatever those feelings would be if you were to truly receive what it is that you want in life. So that's what I'm getting ready to start doing. And I always start off by titling it gratitude. And I always go into what I'm thankful for. I have these little stickers throughout um, just to, you know, give me some type of positivity and things like that. Because you want to always write while your vibrations are high so that you can be in that mindset of receipt. So I'm going to go ahead and start scripting. All right, you guys. So I am getting ready to unbox some of my business stuff that I ordered. I have a package here. And then a package here, and then I'm going to be working over here to finish editing the vlog. So, I wanted to unbox this for you guys, so let me just open it just so that I can not, you know, not show my address, and then I'll show y'all what's inside. Okay, so, the first, I'm going to open up the smaller package This is the um hold it baby. Yeah, okay, so looks like this. Let me change my battery, hold on. Alright, so this is what that is. This is and it's one of those um label rollers i'll leave a picture on the screen so y'all can see what it looks like when it's together because i'm not gonna put it together just yet so i have to get one more thing which will go online and order together So here are the labels, and these are going to be my shipping labels, and it will go on that that I just showed you, which is the holder, and then it just sits in there and rolls out. So I got 500, and I'll leave the link in the description for everything that I, that I did purchase that's in this unboxing haul. 
Um, just in case, you know, some entrepreneurs out there looking for some stuff. Everything obviously was purchased from Amazon. And I think that label holder was about, I want to say maybe $15 if that. It might have been like 20 I think it was like 15 I don't know. Um, and then the labels, hmm, I want to say I got 500 labels for $20 maybe. Um, and then here's a scale. This is a shipping scale that I purchased. This was only um, like $35 or something like that in the, in the 30s in the mid 30s so this was not expensive at all so um this is by smart way and the reviews were pretty good on it um the capacity uh it holds up to 110 pounds and i'm not shipping anything that should be more than that so i figured this this was perfect if maybe later on you know down the road i end up shipping something that would be over 100 pounds then of course Bada boom, bada bang. I will just upgrade to another scale. Um, you know, once we start getting into like crabby chicken grill, the food truck and stuff like that, we'll be shipping like out our um, Sean's juices and then, you know, our sauces and things like that. So then they will probably get up there, especially if people order them in bulk. But for right now, with me doing um, the clothes and shoes and stuff like that, this will do. So I got that. And the last thing I ordered, which was the most costly thing I ordered in this haul, is my thermal label printer. And you guys know with a thermal label printer, um, you don't need ink, so it does not require ink. Um, from the reviews that I've been reading up on and the research that I've done, this one in particular prints really fast. Um, there was also another brand called Rolo, but... They were pretty much the same in reviews, um, just the same um, specs and everything. So, it's compatible with Windows and Mac. I have a MacBook. Um, like I said, it doesn't require ink. And um, resolution is 203 DPI. It, it connects by USB. Um, it's just, you know bomb so i can't wait to use it matter of fact let me just unbox this because if it weren't for this i wouldn't have gotten everything out so this is like the main deal so i'm gonna try to see the unboxing of it though so let me get y'all down so let me put this stuff back in my daughter's toy so here is the power cord this is the USB And this is the other half of the power cord. So, hmm. Comes with a manual and then it looks like a keychain or something is in here. What is this? Oh, this is the card reader. Oh, okay. So here's the USB card reader that it comes with. And it comes with some cleaning wipes. And then it starts you off with some labels. I thought it was like a manual. I mean, it has a user guide here, but it also starts you off with some labels. So that's cool. I didn't know if it did or not, so I bought some. I got to start you with like a little touch of label. I don't know. I don't want to mess with it too much because I want to read over. Oh, it's easy probably. Yeah. 
So got that button right there. And let's write it. This is self test one. They don't have me no ink, y'all. I think that's amazing. Like how does it print with no ink? You know what I mean? Like like how did they do that? But yeah, so this is cool. And I'm gonna put everything back in the box because but let me just obviously it's like really easy to set up, you know. Where the stuff is so you just plug that part there. And you plug this part in here. Obviously, this part goes in the wall, and then this part goes in here. Look at me. Oh, yeah. And then this part goes in your computer. That's it. And then power button. Boom. So once we use it for the first time, we'll show y'all. But right now, I just wanted to just do an unboxing just to let y'all know what we got, and then. We're gonna, I'm gonna put all this stuff back in the box and then I'll be, be back online with y'all so we can, um, we need to order some labels and something else, but we'll be back. Alright, so now I'm on a website called Uline and, um, I actually have a, um, a trade account with them. So, a trade line, it's called a trade line. So it's for, it's under my business. So, um, she told me about the expandable option. So, I'm glad I called because I definitely. 
definitely was was not looking at the expandable and it has like pictures here so you can see how the width how much it expands so um and the good thing about uline also is that they will ship you a sample so she was able to ship me a sample of one of the envelopes so i'm gonna um order probably like the biggest one but i don't even see the size that she told me on, on here so what is she? I don't know, but anyway, y'all, I'm, I'm going to look around some more, but I'm going to, I'm not going to order the envelope today, only because I'm going to wait for the sample to come, and then see how much bigger I could go, whatever, and then, um, and then, yeah, so, I'll be back, y'all, I just wanted to just jump on that, you guys, you know, know what y'all can do, but yeah, they're, they, they open on the weekends, which is super convenient, and phone number's right there, so you don't got to go searching and all of that. And then I'm mad because they also have the scales. They have the shipping scales here. Look. Look at y'all. Look at all the scales. And I just bought that one off of Amazon. But it's all good. You know. We know now. They definitely have our food scale. That we'll be ordering for, for the food truck. Let me see how much this is. Just out of curiosity. What? That's not bad at all. And let me see how much this one is. This one's like the one you really see at the, like the, you know, those crab stores and all that. When you, when, you know, the seafood markets. Um, yeah, I see the price. And then it's $3.99. So I need to, oh, that's for two. So it's $4.19. Oh, I wonder why. Oh, because of course, if you get two, it goes down a little bit. Oh, the calibration weights, I think is what this is. Oh, okay. We don't need that though, do we, y'all? Mm. Y'all so messed up. Alright, so now we're going to write down a list of things that we need, that we could think of top of our head that we need. Um, I'm going to put them in this column right here. And then as we get them, we'll just check a bubble. So we definitely need a scale, a food scale. Um, what, what, what was that thing? A uh, cash register. Um, let me see. I like to look over here because it gives me the ideas. We already have a cash box. Has a cash box. Yeah. Or just their paper. Yeah. And then we already have a cash box. We don't need that. So let me just see how much a cash register is. Oh, wait, hold on. Oh, this is cash for just a paper. Okay. Alright. Alright, well, let me just go out of there. So then... Oh, my goodness, you guys. We're definitely going to need, like, janitorial supplies, like, cleaning yeah, stuff, yeah. gloves. Alright. At one point, I feel like we had gloves, but I feel like we used them because we did a lot of cooking. So, let me put gloves. What gloves do we need? Food service gloves. I don't like those. I, hate I don't like those, yeah. Alright, so these vinyl vinyl vinyl, yeah. I can just do the clear. Okay, so clear, you get a 100. Look at that. For $90, y'all. See that? And we'll do the powder free. Alright, this is the list that we came up with for now. We still have way more that we need to put on the list, but as y'all can see, I'm not gonna go through it. And then right here. Yeah. You so, money. Yeah. So we're just gonna go through, you know, get stuff little by little and you know, get a little storage unit. And open the business. Time to leave out the house and this girl wanna get undressed. Alright, so we got everything. I'm just gonna grab her um cup. Her little cup in the front. Got her little snacks in the car. And then we'll go eat. So it's time for me to eat lunch. 
Y'all, it's hours upon hours later. My bad, we went to Sean's mom's and it turned into a little longer visit than we anticipated, which is fun. Everybody wanted to see baby girl. It was his sister's birthday, so it worked out. But now we're, um, we're headed to get dinner and then we're gonna go home. I still need to order some stuff um, for the business that I haven't ordered yet and I wanted to kind of like show you guys what I'm getting. So I don't know if I'm gonna do that tonight or tomorrow. I probably am, will end up doing it tomorrow just because when we get home, we're gonna eat, get baby girl settled for bed. Yeah, so um, I, I have to figure out if I'm, I'm probably gonna just do it tomorrow just to just rewind it with y'all. So tomorrow morning when I wake up, we'll go ahead and continue um, a business things and I will let you guys um shop online with me for some stuff I still gotta run a Walmart tomorrow anyway because I forgot to get the ink cartridge that I need so I need to get another um thing of ink for the printer and I want to order this rack that I'm gonna order I want to you know I, I do all that with y'all but so I can set up my little shipping station and stuff like that because y'all my 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 vision board this year my digital vision board that I did for my phone it is real like I need to knock out everything on there I'm gonna do some modifications because one of the things that I have on there may be a little far fetch for it to happen maybe in 2021 but you never know so before New Year started I um I thought in New Year's I, I said I promised that I would make a vision board try and make a um be a good big brother and a good what's it called um a good a good um a good a good um and um to make a vision board and to um stick to that vision board. Okay. So um I think I'm gonna go ahead and do the rest of that with y'all tomorrow. Because although it's early, we're just about to just go home and just chill out and stuff. So that's that. But yeah, like I was saying, everything that I have on my board for 2021, I'm gonna need to knock that thing out the ballpark. Like I need, I need, I need to see everything manifest. Everything. So yeah, y'all. My Uber driver, y'all. wanted me to sit up front when I keep coming. But alright, so I'll let y'all in a bit. <laughs> 